What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won ourselves our fourth badge by defeating Erica, and now it is time for us to actually move on and uh, take care of a little business over at Lavender Town. Now, you guys may have remembered, there has been some business going up there, like uh, ghost, ghostly business. How do we know? We've never been in there. Um... Well, it's experience, guys. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of experience. And, well, let's see. What else? What else? I think I'm going to try and capture some new Pokemon right there, too. Like, off-screen. Like I said, guys, in the last episode, yes, I do want to actually try and capture as many Pokemon as possible. Complete the Pokedex here, because I think you are able to do so. And, well, let's see. I don't know what else I could say. Except, yeah, capturing all the Pokemon we can. Now, once we actually save uh, Mr. Fuji from the uh, the tower, I do believe that we get ourselves a Poke Flute of some sort. Uh, don't know if it's the Poke Flute itself. I think it might be something different because uh, the the two Pokemon uh, blocking the way to Fuchsia City happens to be the legendary uh, Weather Genies. And well, here we are in the Pokemon Tower. Okay, it is time for us to get down to business now. We are going to be taking on our rival right here. And, well, good old Spoon is back. So we're going to put him right here first just to see how, uh, you know, we manage. And, well, Gary's here. He's like, hey, Draven, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Um, yeah. He really knows how to push some buttons right here. So here we go, going up against Gary himself again. And, well, he's coming out with Tranquil. And here we have Spoon. Now, if you guys don't know why we call them Spoon, uh, yeah, back in the day, you used to watch, uh, what was it? The Tick. The cartoon The Tick. And The Tick himself would say, Spoon! Yes, yeah, Spoon. I don't know why, but it was just a cool thing. And, well, here comes Mudslide going up against Tranquil. And we're here to lower some speed right now. So here we go again, Mudslide. Another... Yes, Bubble Beam, and well, here comes that Wing Attack. Now, our goal is to try and get uh, Mudslide to evolve. Don't know if it's going to be in this episode, but it's going to be somewhere pretty soon. And well, we're close to defeating this guy. Alrighty, come on, here we go. Bubble Beam. Le Bubble Beam for the win. Look at that. And well, let's see. Going up against a Cottony. Not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that right there. So let's go ahead and switch out. Now, let's see. I'm going to say this again, probably, I don't know how many times, but I do apologize, guys, for taking a long, 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 long time to actually get some recordings out uh, consistently and all that. Uh, as you guys already know, my schedule has picked up a lot. I'm talking about a lot of lots. I'm talking about uh, we're so busy that uh, we're going to have to go back to the weekends, actually, uh, you know, to record everything, just like we did back in the day. And, uh, well, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited because now it's, it's kind of like going back in a regular schedule. But the other thing, too, is how I deal with it. I, I don't know how it's going to be. But I always I always get some kind of weird sense of satisfaction for actually getting my schedule all in, like in, 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 in line or something like that. That's just the adult in me. I don't know. And look at that. Mudslide grows to level 35. And here comes a Zorark. So... Let's go back to Oinkinator right here. Now, this is the first time we're going to look at a Zoroark. Look at this guy right here. Zoroark. Another very, very popular Pokemon, but we're going to low kick it. You know, sweep the leg. That's right. Cobra Kai never dies, guys. And, well, let's see. Going up against a Duot right here. Now, we do not want anything from that guy, so let's go with our good old buddy, Deerling. Yes, I completely forgot that I had that guy. And, well, let's see. Deerling, do your thing. Uh, oh, yeah, it has Leech Seed. Okay, never mind. So, we're going to try and do some major damage to this guy right here. Strategic You know, good old Draven Strategic And, well, look at that. We're draining its power. And now, we can just faint attack, do things to this guy. That's one of my favorite things about Deerling is that it can learn multiple attacks. I never really check the stats or anything like that, guys. I don't usually do that because I'm not much of a competitive battler or anything. I'm just a guy that does walkthroughs. Um, I go for, you know, what kind of moves it can use and all that. 
And, well, here we are, destroying Duat. So let's go ahead with a stomp attack right here. Oh, yes. And, well, Gary has been defeated. I'm happy about that. He's like, he took it easy on me. <laughs> and look at this. Mudslide is finally evolving. Look at this. Okay, so it has been a nice adventure again with Mudslide. And, well, look at that. Pat Plateaued. And I think it does gain the ground capabilities or so. How is your Pokedex coming up, Howl? I just caught a Yamask. I can't find a, the grown-up Caparigus yet. I doubt that there are any left. Well, I better get going. Uh, I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Okay, well, I'm flipping you off, Gary. I am flipping you off, as always. Well, it looks like Yamask and Caparigus is, uh, or... You know, it is the replacement for a Cubone. So let's go ahead and see what we're, you know, going up against. Um, the next floor, obviously, we're gonna be messing with a, a lot of Ghost type Pokemon. So let's see what we got. Here we have Yamask. Oh crud! Okay. Do not tempt me because I will try and capture you eventually. Uh, not going to do that right now, but we're going to go with Crocorock right here since it is a dark type Pokemon. And, well, yeah, I, I probably should invest in some repels as well because, yeah, don't, I, I really don't want to mess with these Yamas right now. Now, I wonder what kind of other Pokemon you can actually find in here. So let's go ahead and see. Ah, yes, we got plenty of repels. Let's go ahead and battle some trainers. Never hurts to battle trainers, right, guys? Nah. Okay, so here we go, going up against Chandler, and, well, they're coming out with a Yamask. So, what would uh, they use if uh, it's not a evolutionary uh, Yamask? Because, uh, well, you know, the story goes that, you know, Cubone's mom, Amarowak, got killed! What would Yamask mom be? I don't know. Okay, so this guy's got saved, or this chick, I don't even know. And, well, let's move on right here, guys. Let's see what else we can actually find here. Um, a lot of Chandlers. Would love to skip them all, but we kind of need to gain all those levels. We really do. And, well, here it is. Going up against another Chandler. And they're coming out with Yamas. So, yeah, we're just going to continue on with the same, same spiel. You know, bite, crunch, what have you. There you go. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. Look at that. Yeah, we're kicking ass, sticking names, doing everything. And here we have another Chandler. Kiki Kwa! Hmm. Kiki Kwa. Alright, alright. So, another Chandler coming with the Yamask. And, uh. Again, I'm kind of curious what kind of Pokemon we're actually going to find right here. Uh, let's see. Now, I've mentioned this too about the legendary Pokemon. And. Yeah, I kind of want to know what legendary Pokemon are still left aside from the the genies. Kind of, yeah, kind of wondering. Uh, oh wait, speaking of which, let's go ahead and see our new Pokemon right here, Mudslide. As you can tell, it does gain the ground type capability. We already have a ground type Pokemon, but Mudslide is a very good fit just because it's water type Pokemon. Eventually, like, like like I said before, guys, eventually I'm gonna be switching up Pokemon, doing things, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe even bring back the old team from Pokemon Black. You know, the whole works. So, let's go ahead and take on another trainer right here, another Chandler. And, well, Chandler right here is coming out with a Yaw Mask yet again. And, well, not really, not really scaring me right now. Alright, let's go right ahead and do that. There we go. Look at that. Okay, okay. And here comes a Litwick, so that, okay, so that's a, I completely forgot about Litwick right here. I'm kind of curious, or I'm kind of thinking that it's probably, yeah, you can actually get, well, what's his face again? What's his face? Um, yeah, you can actually get, what's his name, the, the Golurk, I think, that's what his name is. And just like always, we do not have any space in our in our thing so let's see yeah we're gonna use a an iron do not care who I give it to uh, let's see let's see let's see we have a rare candy HP up let's go ahead and give that to 
Uh, let's go ahead and give that to Deerling. I could have given that to Spoon right here. And Moonstone, Repel, Great Balls, Revive, Super Potion. You know, a lot of these things I could have just put back in the, into the uh, PC. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab the other one. I think it's another uh, rare candy here. Nope, it's uh, an Awakening. And let's go ahead and grab that one right here. No more space. Holy bejeebus. Okay. So, yeah, we do not need an Awakening. So, let's go ahead and uh, grab this. And we found another HP up. Wow. Wow. Never mind. Yeah, that's one of my biggest... Uh, I think that's everybody's pet peeve with, uh, you know, Generation 1 is the space in, uh, the space within its uh, backpack and all that stuff. So, here we go again, going up against another Chandler. And, well, there she is, looking all mean and everything. Coming out with a Yon Mask. And, well, Kill a Croc right here is going to be Kill a Croc. So, let's go with a Crunch Attack. Mm-hmm. Yon Mask. Defeated. Kill a Croc. Kick an ass. Mm-hmm. Probably the best Pokemon I caught so far. And, well, let's see. Anything else? There might be another item here or there. I don't know. Maybe. I've only played this game like a million times. And, well, let's see. Here we go with the repel. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Ghost and Quah. Now, well, as I'm doing this, guys, I'm actually... <laughs> yeah, I'm actually uh, doing this and watching uh, Ronin Warriors at the same time. Trust me, guys. It... It took me a while to actually try and find a, a day to actually get all of this going. Last weekend, I could have been recording, but no, I spent it on my mock-up uh, page and everything else. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of responsibility was put in my place right here. And, well, let's see. We could battle somebody else right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And I am going to take a small break. I have something quick to do, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, I'm back. Just doing a little laundry, guys. Still adulting and all that stuff. So, anywho, we're all healed up, and we're ready to go right here, and, well, look at that. We're going to be battling zombies. Zombies. Now, this reminds me of Pokemon Brown. Didn't we go through a haunted forest with similar references and all that stuff? I kind of, I kind of feel like we did. So here we go, going up against a Yao mask, and well, let's, let's just, uh, let's just uh, go on with it. Let's go with a bla uh, bite attack. A bite attack does its thing. Yao mask has been defeated, and well, yes, I'm happy about that. Okay, so that was pretty easy right there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There is another item. I'm expecting it to be a rare candy, and no, it's a nugget. And, well, let's see. We could battle. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and battle this guy. I kind of feel like I shouldn't, but I kind of need to. And, well, since we have Deerling, we won't be affected by any of these uh, ghost-type Pokemon since it is part normal-type Pokemon right here. So, here we go. Another one going against uh, Chandler. And, well, coming with the Litwick, weighing in at, I don't know, how many pounds a ghost-type Pokemon would be. And, well, let's go ahead and use a faint attack since, you know, dark types do exist in this uh, walkthrough right here. And, wow, Nightshade. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like it does uh, It does affect my Pokemon since it does aggress that Pokemon. Yeah, pretty dumb of me to, to think I'm invincible. Holy crud. Okay, all right. Okay, so that was a good one right there. And, yes, I do know. I do know that they, I skipped on this guy, I think. Yes, and the other guy up top, so... Eh, whatever. So here we go, another one, and uh, going with a Chandler. Going with a Golette. Look at that, Golette. Okay, so I think you can find Golette right here. You just need to know where. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Leech Seed. And then, well, let's continue on with something else right here. Mega Punch. Holy crud. Didn't expect that to happen, but here comes a... Yeah, Leech Seed for the win. So let's go straight for a Faint Attack. Faint Attack does its thing, and here comes a Pound Attack. Oh, damn. Yeah, almost got defeated right there. Don't want that to happen. So here we go, Faint Attack again for the win. And, well, Deerling does its thing. Grows the level 25, and uh, we're off for more. Yes, we are off for more right here. 
Now, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. Let's go ahead and use some uh, super potions since we do have them. And dearling, you definitely need you definitely need a super potion here and there. So let's go ahead and uh, get attacked by more of these uh, of these uh, Chandlers right here. Now here we go, going up against Chandler itself. And well, let's see what kind of Pokemon. Oh, Yamask! Look at that. Okay, Yamask is pretty cool. All right, bring it on, Yamask. Let's go with uh, let's go with a Fan Attack because it is a pretty cool pretty cool move, I guess. And, oh wow, here comes a Haze Attack. Now, I never understood what a Haze Attack actually did until I actually used it recently, and it didn't really affect my confusion or anything like that. So, it's pretty, uh, something, it's pretty nifty to have. And, well, let's see. Let's go with Spoon right here, since we are taking on a, uh, a Water-type Pokemon right here. And, well, I completely forgot. Yes, we do not have a, a proper Electric-type attack, so... Let's go with Killacroc. Yes, I know I walked into a disadvantage, but I think I can do this right here. Here comes the Bubble Beam or Bubble Attack. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Crunch Attack. Tap and Crunch right here, ready to go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, all right. And coming out with the Litwick. Let's go straight to Mudslide since Litwick is a Fire-type Pokemon as well, so. Look at that, Litwick's looking uh, a little mean. And here comes the Bubble Beam. The Bubbles. Chris Jericho, you magnificent bastard, you. And good gravy. Yeah, we're getting a, uh, we're getting, we're getting embered right here. So here we go, Bubble Beam again. Say goodbye to Litwick. Oh yeah. And well, another victory for us right there. Groan. And well, let's see what the item is right here. No more room for items. Of course. Let's see. Hmm. Can't get rid of the n the nugget. You know what? We're not gonna use the escape rope because obviously we're gonna we're gonna complete this whole thing right here. So here we have an X accuracy. Wow. It's like we needed something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Actually, screw it. Let's just battle this guy right here. Anywho, while I'm doing this, guys, I am actually. Um, I'm actually fixing up the next few episodes for uh, Pokemon walkthroughs. Now, in my last community post, I actually explained how, uh, you know, I, I've been rather, you know, inconsistent with the videos and all that stuff. And, well, I still have some Pokemon walkthroughs saved up. You know, I decided that maybe I should just, uh, you know, render them and edit them and have them, you know, have them uh, uploaded as soon as possible because well you know I'm gonna be super busy might as well have some kind of uh, you know some kind of uh, what you call it uh, some kind of content here and there that way you guys can actually still watch my channel I have noticed oh crap I have noticed that if I do not post anything for a nice amount of time my numbers go down so that's something that I kinda don't want to want happening I mean the numbers I like the numbers I like numbers going up so yeah and well here we go Another Pokemon trainer by the name of Chandler going up against my dearling. And, well, double advantage right here. And, well, there's an evasion of moves right there, which kind of heals me. And, well, let's go right here. Leech Seed. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. And, well, there's a bubble attack. Not super effective, but there it is. A Leech Seed. Dearling, you are, you are awesome. You are awesome. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Bubble attack again. And, well, let's go right again with another leech seed right here, yes. And finish it off again. Okay, alrighty, look at that. No more. And, well, it's like something fell out. Probably, I don't know. Okay, let's grab this, and we found ourselves another rare candy. And, well, I think we are towards the end of this whole thing right here. So, let's see. Let's go straight to Killacroc just for this situation right here. And be gone, intruders! Oh, jeez. What do we got? And here we have a ghost. And, well, with the Silscope, let's see what this thing is all about. And it is a Cathagoras. Oh, yeah, I think I pronounced it correctly. But there it is, guys. A Cathagoras. Now, let's see something. 
Throw a Pokeball. Nope, it dodged it. This Pokemon cannot be caught. And, well, as you can see, it is... A, well, it's going to be a, kind of a hard Pokemon to actually defeat, but there we go. Crunch Attack does some damage. Here comes a little bit of a haze. Do not know why you're doing that. All right, let's try this one more time. Crunch Attack for the win. And there it is, guys. We have a... Well, we have helped the ghost of the restless soul of Yamas's mother. The mother's soul calmed. It has departed to the afterlife. So maybe, just maybe, I should have just, uh... I, sh I probably should have uh, gone to Mr. Fuji's place to actually see what what the whole deal was uh, all about. So, yeah, okay. So, here we are in the room where Team Rocket is located, and they're keeping, uh, well, Mr. Fuji's hostage. So, let's go to Spoon. I, I, I know that, you know, this is the last Pokemon that I'm trying to, uh... <laughs> I am trying to get this guy's levels up, but I, yeah, can't really do it. I haven't been doing it, so let's go ahead and battle. Let's see what you got right here. Here we have a Gothita. Remember, we caught that a while back. And, well, it is week two Bug-type Pokemon. Here comes a Double Flap, which, well, you gotta love that. Hmm. Hit three times. And look at that. Leech Seed is super effective. So we're gonna continue on right here. And here comes a Confusion Attack. That actually does some damage. A lot of damage. And, well, let's see. Let's see if we can get one more off. And, well, our fortunes are kind of, you know, kind of turning right here. Okay, okay. All right. And let's go again. And here comes the double slap. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, getting double slapped, more than likely we're going to get hit five times. Knowing my luck, probably. Nope, that was four times. And look at, oh, crud. Nearly got him. So, Psybeam, holy crap, okay, okay, that is not cool, okay, so Spoon has been eliminated, I right, kill the croc, do your thing, finish it, okay, so, let's go right ahead and just use a bite attack, okay, it's easy, easy stuff, bite attack, okay, alrighty. There it is, and well, let's go ahead and take on a Woobat right here. Now, this would have been a perfect, uh, yeah, this would have been a perfect matchup to Spoon, I think. Not not a perfect matchup, but somewhat of a good matchup. So let's go with a Bite Attack right here, and well, that's a good one right there. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so coming out with a Swoobat right here. We're going to continue on. Let's just do it. Okay. Swoobat looking uh, a little... A little fat, a little pudgy right there. And, well, there's that crunch attack. Does it for the win. And, well, here is a level 37 Akilla Croc. Gravy. Yes. Okay, all right. And he's not going to forget this. Okay. So is everybody else. Okay, so let us... Uh, I kind of want to kind of wanna move on right here, but I kind of want to heal my Pokemon. So uh, let me go back... To the second room or the third room and uh, let me heal my Pokemon that way I can uh, you know get spoon to actually battle so I'll be right back with you guys okay guys I'm back and well while I was off screen I was actually uh, capturing some Pokemon I didn't know that you can actually capture a Sigilyph right here and it took me my three or four attempts to actually do it but I did it anyways caught a Sigilyph named it Gigalith so yeah we're close to getting the band back together now if only we could find an Oshawa. out. That would be great. Anywho, let's continue on. And wow. I didn't move and well we gotta yeah, we gotta take on a a Yamas right here, which I of course I actually captured off screen. And well there are other Pokemon right here that you can actually capture here too, like Elgium. Uh shoot, who else? I haven't found a Golurk yet. I'm pretty sure you can find Golurk right here since it is a ghost area. But we shall see. We will. We we shall see right here. So here we go, going up against another Team Rocket member. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what we got going up against a Trubbish. Yes, a Trubbish. And well, here comes a Spoon. And well, we got to switch out our Pokemon right here because yeah, Spoon's not gonna really do much right here now. As far as I'm concerned, there might be some changes here and there. I mean. I kinda maybe want to go back to Gigalith because Gigalith is a pretty interesting Pokemon. 
Very good Pokemon for this one. And, well, yeah, we got Poison. Oh, yeah, you gotta love the Poison. You really do. Okay, so let's go with a Wing Attack. And, well, you gotta love the Sludge Attack. Good God, Trubbish. And, yes. There we go. Wing Attack does its thing, but we're getting poisoned. Good gravy. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Getting double slapped. Good God, man, come on! Oh my God. And, well, here comes a wing attack, and oh, it nearly defeats Trubbish! And it looks like to me, Trubbish will win this one. Good Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, so let's go with the mudslide right here. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get it. Bubble Beam. Trubbish. Seriously, kick my butt! Oh my god. And well, there we go, getting some more experience points. And well, here comes the Solosis. So let's continue on. Let's go back to Killer Croc, because Killer Croc can actually do something. And well, Killer Croc. Let's get it. Let's get it, Killer Croc, right here. Let's go with a Crunch Attack. And well, Solosis. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alright. So, yeah, we had to work for that victory right there. No problem. No problem whatsoever. But still, we had to we had to literally work for that one. So, he is walking away. Let's go ahead and continue on and take on the final member of Team Rocket right here. And, well, let's see. You're not saving anyone, kid. Eh, how much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? Let's go right ahead and take on another Team Rocket member, and wow, okay, so coming out with the Woobat, but here's Spoon, ready to go, and yes, I do not have any moves that can actually, uh, you know, dent uh, its armor right there, if it has any kind of armor, so let's go right ahead and just continue with uh, our good old buddy Killer Croc right here, and let's go with the Crunch Attack, yeah buddy, alright, Crunch Attack, does it do it? Uh, can it do its thing? It will do its thing. And look at this. Spoon finally grows a level right here. Oh, damn. Okay, so here comes a Petrat. Alrighty, Petrat. Let's go uh, straight to... Let's go with... Let's go with Deerling. I want to use Deerling for a little bit. Okay, so Deerling, you're looking all mean and everything, but guess what? I got myself a double kick. And double kick is going to really, really, really do some damage right there. Look at that. Double kick. Yeah, buddy. Okay, but here comes a Super Fang. And just like its namesake, it does half damage. Holy crud. Okay, so there we go. Get that. And, well, here comes a Watch Dog. So we're going to go straight to the Oinkinator right here and see if we can try and get it evolved right now. I don't know. Can it? Will it? I don't know. I really don't. All right. So let's go with a Low Kick. And... Uh, just like that, Watchdog has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay, so coming out with a Gathita, I'm gonna continue on right here. Just with the same Pokemon, because, uh, yeah, that goal is to evolve Oinkinator right now. And, uh, yes, we have taken it down. Get a little recoil, but it's okay. It is fine. Okay, alrighty. So that's that, and he's like, you're not getting away with this! I think I just did. Okay, so let's go uh, talk to Mr. Fuji right here. He's like, <laughs> you, came, uh, you came to save me. Thank you, but I came here to, uh, on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Yamas's mother. I think a Phagoras spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to the ho uh, home, to the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Okay. And look at that. That beats, that definitely beats a, uh, whatchamacallit. Yes, that definitely beats an escape rope. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about. Draven, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. And we got ourselves a Pokeflute, which is great. Upon, upon hearing Pokeflute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works without, with all sleeping Pokemon. Hmm. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it right there. Uh, so... I'm only assuming that the, uh, uh, the, you know, the, the genie Pokemon are asleep. So we're gonna try and do that later on in our adventure. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, in the next episode, what I'm going to try and do is I'm gonna go to Saffron City and we're gonna 
You know, we're going to go ahead and, and get started with the whole uh, Saffron City events. You know, Team Rocket, that kind of stuff. That way we can level up our Pokemon. Hell, we might even meet, we might even see a change in the team member because, uh, yeah, this team's looking a little crazy. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.